Hello everyone. This video illustrates the new EM setup and usability in ADS 2011. Today's designs are getting more and more compact. Proximity effects between components are becoming more pronounced and they are significantly impacting design performance. This is why EM simulation is required and must be included in your overall design process. In ADS 2011, we have redesigned the whole EM simulation setup and user interface, making it now easier than ever and possible for any user to create EM models. With a one mouse click from the layout page, I can start my EM simulation. And I can stop the EM simulation. I can open the EM setup page and I can open the substrate editor. I can generate a 3D view of my layout and I can open the 3D visualization and compute the far fields from the EM simulation results. By opening the EM setup page Notice that all EM setup tabs are easily accessible from this single dialog page. The top menu select provides you with an overall summary of your EM setup plan, including which EM solver you want to use. The setup you create can now be applied to both Momentum and FEM, so you don't have to learn a different user interface. This allows you to easily and accurately model the effects of bond wires, packages, and dielectric fringing effects on your design. And if you wish to perform finite differences time domain simulation, the EM Pro simulator is directly linked to this setup page. It is very easy to launch EM Pro and import your design. This layout tab allows you to view your design in the layout page and generate a 3D view. Another great enhancement in ADS 2011 EM usability is the substrate editor. The substrate tab allows you to view the substrate used in your design and possibly select other available substrates from your library. You can create a new substrate or you can open the substrate editor and easily edit and modify your existing substrate. This new graphical view of the substrate stackup allows easy drag and drop operations and easily select and modify properties. Here is another user-friendly enhancement in ADS 2011. The ports viewing and editing are now combined and the port editing and management are much more efficient. To illustrate, let me collapse all my ports and delete them. Notice now the yellow triangle warning sign telling me that my port setup is now not complete. In a one mouse click, I can automatically regenerate all my ports. I can change the order of my ports by resequencing them. The Calibration tab allows you to select from two transmission line TML calibration modes and two surface mount component calibration modes as shown here, resulting in accurate simulation. Your custom created EM setups can be saved under different names and can be called back at any time for fast EM simulation and analysis. Your saved EM setup states can also be shared with other designers and applied on other designs. This eliminates errors due to inconsistent entries and saves time. In ADS 2011, we have made significant performance improvement in momentum. A simulation time that took 9 hours in 2004 now takes only half an hour, which is 18 times faster. Additionally, Momentum in ADS 2011 uses a new measure with quadrangular cells that provides better convergence and speed. 
It is also worth mentioning here that Momentum leads the industry by running on up to 16 cores with a single Momentum license. That is more than additional order of magnitude of speed improvement. Thank you for watching this video.